game fans! Now, I love video games. I've loved video games for as long as I can remember, and I've even dabbled in game development. I've always yearned to, to create games as well as just play them. And if, like me, you have this interest in creating games as well as just playing them, then it's not as hard as it used to be to get into the industry. Um, it used to be that uh, you'd need a solid uh, programming knowledge and maths degrees and you need some kind of design skills and all these other things. Um, whereas nowadays there's a lot of software out there which will cater to the, the new game developer. Uh, I mean if you look at games like Thomas Was Alone, uh, if you look at very sort of simple games, there, there is um, you just need a mechanic and not only do you need a mechanic, you just need an idea. And out there there's a number of different uh, software programs that are for 2D, uh, 2D game development, they're for 3D game development, they're for um, top-down shooters, there's some for RPGs, there's something for everyone. So really um, I wanted to compile a list of just some of the, the top programs out there uh, that's ideal for both children if you want to get your children into game development or even adults if you want to take those first tentative steps into game development because uh, many of the new ones will actually deploy to uh, iOS or Android device means that you can actually get on that ladder uh, of game development for, for just a very small cost. Um, usually it's the cost of either the software or of the um, the, the actual license, but uh, it's, it's minimal. So if you have an idea and you love video games and you want to create your own, then here is my list of game design software to help you along. In this video I'm going to cover a number of different software programs which are really aimed at the beginner or those starting out in game development. If you are looking for something more advanced then don't forget to check out my video on more advanced software tools uh, for the more uh, higher level game developer. So click that link there and also click, uh, click the link for my top 3D modeling programs if you want to look beyond Blender at more of the more extensive 3D animation programs. So let's start from scratch, or let's start with Scratch. Developed by MIT Media Labs, Scratch is ideal for creating stories as well as games that are interactive. The use of the animated content makes it especially appealing for children as young as eight. The programming language it uses encourages children to learn computational as well as mathematical concepts and to make games that really hold their own individual stamp. Sploder. Sploder is a browser-based creation tool that uses Flash to create games very quickly. This software really is for the novice developer as it is more of a, a level builder than a creation tool. There are four game types to create and plenty of assets to drag and drop, but your creation is limited to what the software can create. However, it is easy to use and you can create a platforming hack and slash in a matter of mere minutes. Alice. Meant for older children learning computer science, this object oriented programming language has been developed by the Carnegie Mellon University. In Alice's interactive interface, students drag and drop graphical tiles to create a program where the instructions correspond to standard statements in a production oriented programming language such as Java, C, C. Sharp. This is a great tool for designing 3D video games is a very unusual language to learn. Game Salad. My personal favourite, Game Salad is a great tool for game development as it requires no prior programming knowledge. It has an easy to use drag and drop interface and movements and interactions are all controlled by behaviours where users add their own rules to govern what each element will do. This software is free to try and to publish online, but it also has a powerful compiler in order to create games for iPhone, iPad, Androids and other tablet devices. This feature, however, does come with a small price tag. For those with a talent for art and animation, this is definitely one to start with. RPG Maker Now this is a great tool for producing role-playing games and has turned out a number of great little titles. It's not only free, but it's also quite easy to master. 
you can use this extremely popular software to produce games and have your own music, your own characters, your own story, and as well as all your own dialogue. Over the years, various versions of the RPG Maker have been created, uh, and right now you can expect to pay about $25 for a standard license. Stencil. This Flash-based game engine is growing in popularity year on year and has created many great indie titles. This tool is very similar to Game Salad in many respects in that it uses behaviours to control the different elements of the game. It does, however, use tile-based levels, which is great for creating large, complex levels uh, but that have a low file size. This has both a free model to get you started and paid versions for additional features and the ability to export games to all the different mobile devices and tablets. Game Maker Studio. This is probably the most advanced software on the list, offering a wider variety in the types of games that it, that it can create. It has both a drag and drop system along with customizable programming language features. The feature list is vast and if you're willing to spend around $300 per platform, you can create builds for everything from iPhones all the way to Xbox One. This would be a great starting program for those that are truly serious about game development. Program If you're familiar with Visual Basic or even Microsoft.net, then Program is the best option for you. It can help you gain knowledge about traditional programming by way of its easy to comprehend examples and tutorials. This is not freeware, but you can utilize a 30 day trial period, and if you like it, then go on to the paid model. Pygame. Pygame is a great way to familiarize yourself with the Python programming language, which is used by large corporations like YouTube and Disney. It is more appropriate for those who seriously wish to get a more technical knowledge behind their game programming, as it adds extra levels of programming such as web development and database support, uh, and more than just creating fun, simple games. Construct 2. Construct 2 supports a number of different platforms, but it seems geared mainly towards HTML5 game development. There is a free version to get you started, and a tiered price range that goes all the way up to around $400. Construct 2 is ideal for 2D games, and there is a thriving community to support it. Flixel. Flixel is a flash-based game creation tool based around ActionScript 3. Totally free and open source, however due to it being in Flash you might have trouble getting your game to work across platforms, simply because iOS doesn't allow Flash. The original Cannonbolt, uh, a side-scrolling runner, now available on most platforms, was originally created using Flixel, and it has been around for a while, uh, so there's plenty of resources and tutorials to help you out. Sadly, it can be a little bit difficult to set up. Adventure Game Studio. For those looking to specialize from day one, why not try Adventure Game Studio to create a simple point and click adventure like the classic Monkey Island series? It's only on PC and obviously you are limited to only one game type. But if you have a passion for story and point and click adventures, then this really is a lot of fun. Obviously, you can choose any of these software tools to start your game development journey, but if you want my honest opinion, then I would say that you can't go wrong starting with Game Salad or Stencil if you want to create mobile games or simple browser-based games, or maybe even Game Maker Studio if you have your eyes on the consoles. So once you've chosen your program of choice, then all you need is an idea and maybe some graphics. And so if I can help you out there, let me know. So there you have it, some uh, really easy to get into game development and game design tools for beginners. Uh, don't forget that if you want to check out my other video for more advanced tools and check that out, and also for 3D art programs, also having a video um, coming out on that, uh, then please click on the links that I will try and put in this video here and here. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, um, like it, comment in it, all that kind of stuff. And I will be back with another video very soon. Finish him!